Hello everybody, Kwip here, and welcome to another Destiny 2 video. I apologize for not posting for the last 10 days or so, but I've been pretty busy with the new Bungie job, working a lot doing that, and then on my days off trying to enjoy the summer while it lasts. But while I have this long weekend for the 4th of July, I'm going to try to pump out a couple more videos while I have the time. And we're starting off with a video on the forward path which is the new Iron Banner auto rifle that is a 600 RPM and is very good. And so I'm going to do a PvP review of the weapon, as well as show off a couple of roles that I have, because in this video you're going to be seeing basically two different roles used, and I'll show you what both of those are, and it should be pretty easy to tell which is which in the video. Because this first row that I'll show you, I use on my Titan exclusively in the video, and it's this one with Dynamic Sway Reduction Iron Gaze. Then the other role that I use is Feeding Frenzy Swashbuckler, and that one I use on Warlock and maybe Hunter if there's any in this video of the Hunter. But yeah, it'll be really easy to tell which role is which because you'll see the Swashbuckler and Feeding Frenzy after every kill with this role and stuff like that. But anyway, let's just take a look at what is on each weapon and then we'll talk about what can roll on this gun in general and what roles you want to look out for. So starting off with this first role that I got, this is the very first forward path that I got from the quest. It has Iron Gaze, which gives massive target acquisition buffs for the cost of range. I think it gets rid of 40 range for plus 20 aim assistance, which honestly for an auto rifle isn't all that ideal. It is really sticky and pretty easy to hit shots with, but it's not the greatest to have a very big penalty to range. And it's a perk that I would prefer not to have. It kind of just limits this gun a little bit because it already has pretty high aim assistance and so it doesn't seem all that necessary. Then the next perk that I got is Dynamic Sway Reduction, which is very good. It improves accuracy and stability while continuously holding down the trigger. Then I got Flared Magwell to increase the stability and reload speed, good perk there, and Red Dot 2 MOA, which is a pretty nice scope, increasing range and handling speed while being a pretty standard Red Dot. Then I have a Stability Masterwork and a Counterbalance Stock, so Overall, a very good roll, but it's just a little bit limited with the, its range capabilities. Because even as you start approaching mid-range, you're going to come into some damage fall off. And what the biggest issue is, is that your headshots will kind of stop registering. And you can basically only hit body shots in mid-range. Because its range is so poor. And it's actually just so ridiculous looking at this weapon. Because it actually has a higher impact than range for a 600 RPM, which is completely unheard of. It's got 21 impact and 20 range, which is just so weird. And then later I got this roll with Feeding Frenzy Swashbuckler, which is really quite good. Quickly I'll do a comparison of the two. You can see that the second roll has much better range and a little bit better stability with a little worse reload speed, but Feeding Frenzy kind of makes up for that. And now let's look at the roll specifically and we'll talk about what the perfect roll would be at the end of this. So we got Swashbuckler, quite a good perk giving you increased damage for picking up kills, and especially if you pick up a melee kill. Then Feeding Frenzy, each rapid kill will progressively increase the reload speed. Then we have a game changer in this next row, which is Steady Rounds, which greatly increases stability. And this is a fantastic perk for 600 RPM auto rifles, and really auto rifles in general, because it makes the weapon incredibly stable. And it's not something that all 600 RPMs can roll with. For example, the Summoner cannot get this perk. And neither can the Ether Doctor, which is probably the closest competitor to the forward path because it is also a 600 RPM Legendary Kinetic. So this weapon being capable of picking up steady rounds is big, and that's a perk you really want to look out for. Then again, we have Red Dot 2 MOA, and a Range Masterwork this time, which was pretty nice, because this weapon's already quite stable with steady rounds, so bumping up the range a little bit would be good. I'm actually going to redeem that right now. I was waiting till I was finished with Iron Banner to see if I was going to potentially get a God roll, but I think this is the best roll I'm going to get this time around, so... We're just going to masterwork it because this is what I'm probably going to be using and it should be a good weapon for us in the future. Then we have a counterbalance stock yet again to reduce the recoil even further. So now let's talk about what a god roll would be on this weapon. Well, in the end row, the best perks that can roll are Iron Grip, 
which gives you plus 20 stability for minus 40 reload speed, which is quite a good trade-off. Especially if you get Feeding Frenzy in the first row like I have here, which is probably the best perk combination you can get would be Iron Grip, Feeding Frenzy. And then if you throw on like a reload mod on your gauntlets, then you'll be all set. The other two perks that are about as good as Iron Grip or maybe a little worse are Swashbuckler and Multi-Kill Clip. Just giving you extra damage when you pick up kills is always a nice thing to have on a weapon. And while they're not going to make the gun an absolute laser like Iron Grip does, they will still allow you to melt some people when you get big stacks of damage on there. Then in the next row, by far the best two perks are going to be Feeding Frenzy and Dynamic Sway Reduction. Feeding Frenzy is really nice for that pairing with Iron Grip to compensate for the reload speed that you lost. But also dynamic sway reduction, getting that better accuracy and stability is really nice. It should also be noted that this weapon is capable of picking up the role where you have Grave Robber and Swashbuckler. So if you get a melee kill, then you will have a full magazine and super buff damage. So that's a fun role to play with as well. Then this next row, like I said, steady rounds is probably going to be the best thing you can get. Tactical Mag is also pretty good, as well as Flared Magwell. If you already have a bunch of stability through like Iron Grip, then Accurize Rounds could be decent as well. Then for the scope, kind of up to you. Doesn't really matter all that much, but I would just look for something with short zoom, ideally. And then for the Masterwork, you're looking for stability or range, or maybe even reload speed if you lost some with Iron Grip, like I said. Basically, you just don't want handling for the most part. And yeah, that's what's on my rolls and what would be a god roll. Now let's talk about how the weapon stacks up compared to other 600 RPMs. Well, it's only the second legendary 600 RPM kinetic auto rifle that can roll with two perks, so a non-year one weapon. And the other one is the previously mentioned Ether Doctor. And if you compare these two, the forward path is so much better. It has an advantage in just about every statistical category. It has better range, stability, handling, reload speed, magazine size, aim assistance, inventory size, recoil, and a better perk pool than the Ether Doctor. It's better in like every single way. As well as the scopes on the Ether Doctor are a little awkward, so the forward path probably has the advantage there too. So if you're looking for a kinetic legendary auto rifle, the forward path is certainly the way to go. The problem is there's exotics out there. Suros Regime, Monte Carlo, those are both going to be better options. They are incredible weapons. The Suros can kill absurdly fast with spinning up, is probably the strongest weapon in the game right now. And then the Monte Carlo is very stable, can flinch a lot with high caliber rounds, has basically Swashbuckler and Grave Robber combined, and will cool down your melee ability as you do damage. So it's really a fantastic weapon in its own right. And so when you compare it to those two, it really can't quite match up. But in a straight up 1v1 gunfight, they are fairly even, except for if you go up against Suros while it's spun up. And the forward path will be able to hang and do pretty well, but it's just gonna be a little bit worse than those options. Then when you look on the energy weapon side, it has some tough competitors there as well, in the Summoner, the Gnawing Hunger, and the Galliard. When you compare the forward path to the summoner, the forward path actually is statistically better in a lot of ways. Because it has a better range, a better stability, a better reload speed, a better magazine size, and a better aim assistance. It just has a handling stat that is worse by one compared to summoner. And the perk pool of Summoner is good, but it just doesn't have many amazing perks. But I'd say overall the perk pool of the two weapons are pretty comparable. So I'd say Forward Path and Summoner, it's kind of a toss up. But then when you look at like Gnawing Hunger and Galliard, these are weapons that are capable of picking up Kill Clip. And the Gnawing Hunger also has very good statistics that actually are a little bit better than the Forward Path in some areas. Most notably range and stability. And so I think that the Gnawing Hunger at least is maybe a little bit better than the Forward Path. It's really quite a laser beam and has a lot of damage dealing perks. So everything's going to be dependent on what rolls you get on what guns, but I think that the best legendary 600 RPM auto rifle is probably Gnawing Hunger, and then in second place it's probably Forward Path or maybe Summoner, and then Galliard is probably close behind in like fourth place, with Ether Doctor probably being in last. But overall, this weapon's incredible. It's a 600 RPM. Until Bungie changes them, they are not going to go away. But anyway, that is going to be everything I have to say for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and see you later. Oh, is he getting fucked by the shark? He is. Nice. Three piece. Uh, what did you think of? Mm -hmm.
I got a chest at the shark. Oh, I saw. I grabbed the shark. Go check the chest that's like on the nose of the shark. Come on, sharks. Fuck them up. Two of them. Two sharks after him. Yes. Is this the stuff you talk about? Like, make their own colonies? Yeah, once you give them a hundred wood. Holy Holy shit, how am I still alive? <laughs> Oh my god! They got a good shot, but let's go. These people got outplayed so hard! I had 43 kills. That's gotta be the most I've had an Iron Banner before. Bruh, people do not know how to fight a bubble in this game. And that's because you don't fight a bubble. You run the fuck away. Yeah, I was trying to say Whenever you see one. I, I don't think you fight it. But they're trying. 